What is up everybody? I am Ray from Rodis Creation coming at you again with another movie review. Um, okay, before I get into this movie review, um, I just want to say that another YouTuber, a friend of mine, um, did a review on this movie. Um, the movie is Boo Amadeus Halloween. The YouTuber who made a really good review um, is named Crookie Gaming 50 Crookie, I'm, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to spell it out right here. Saying Crookie Gaming 50 Check out his channel, real cool channel, gaming channel. He puts up uh, um, stuff with, with his family. He puts up uh, um, a couple of cooking things here and there. Um, and now he just did a, a movie review for the same movie that I'm going to review. So if you want a different take, a different review style, it's just go to his channel, check out his channel on this movie, and then you can come back to mine and see my review or see mine and then go see his, however you want. Okay? We have two totally different views of this film. Okay? So... Hey, either way, we got you covered, right? There you go. Okay. Here. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> Warning. Parental discretion advised. Some language may not be suitable for some viewers. You have been warned. <laughs> Boo, a Medea's Halloween. I just want to say. I have a very, very high respect level for Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry is a creative person, writer, director, actor, producer, everything. And he made it. You have to give that man that respect. To come up, be established the way he's established. We, a lot of us YouTubers wish we can get to even half the level that he's at. Now to my review on the movie. Uh, I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I, I, I just didn't find it funny. It opens up on a college scene where some kids are throwing a frat party. You've seen it a billion times before. They want to set up the best party ever type of scenario. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but if you guys watch YouTube a lot, a very famous YouTuber is actually one of the main characters in the movie. So much respect to him. He's the guy who plays Jonathan. Uh, his name is uh, Yosef Arafat, or online, on YouTube, he's known as FusiTube, or Dose of Fusi. He's like a prankster that became a vlogger, who still does some pranks here and there with his friends, and, and he's entertaining to watch. Sometimes it could be a little much, but it's entertaining to watch, so I suggest you check him out. He has like 13 million subscribers, guys. 13 million subscribers. That is insane. Wonderful achievement. I have a hundred and... I have, I have like a hundred plus and I gotta make a hundred subscribers video. Don't worry, it's coming, Mo. It's coming. So yeah, so a YouTuber's in the movie and he's making it in, in the, the industry and that's wonderful. That's great, especially in the Tyler Perry movie. Awesome. But this movie, I just couldn't get into it. I'm watching the movie, I'm sitting there and I'm just like waiting to laugh. And I think that was a problem. I'm waiting because I know it's a Tyler Perry movie. I know it's a Medea movie. And a few of the other, other Medea movies made me laugh in the past. Medea was joking around with and the other cat joking around with. They were actually annoying the crap out of me. And I was getting more and more agitated. And I'm just like, I can't review this movie tonight. Because I saw the movie a few nights ago. Because I'm going to be a little too agitated. A little too angry. Because the movie totally and completely disappointed me. I didn't laugh. I think I no, I think I smirked once or twice with a few little things that Medea said. One or two character one or two characters that also Tyler Perry played. Like especially the the the, the, the old man, I guess Medea's brother or whatever. Can't get into this. This movie just sucks. The cinematography of it was boring and bland and Tyler Perry also directed this. So I guess it is it could be more difficult to direct it when you're playing three characters in the same room and you're trying to direct the movie. So you're going for the easy shots, I guess, for just like one still shot and then another still shot. And then another still shot. Everybody just dialogue going over each other, and then showing another another shot of you of you just reacting to the own character that uh, you're playing to. It's just like uh, a few of my friends who saw it. They're like, eh, it's okay, it's whatever. I'm like, nah, come on now. You're paying, especially in New York City. It's expensive to go see a freaking movie. To go see your average ticket price is like thirteen. Anywhere between thirteen to fifteen dollars. So then pay like six dollars for popcorn or like five dollars for a piece of candy that you know in the store costs a dollar twenty-five. Kind of looking at movies like this movie better be incredible. This sucks so much for me from my perspective. This movie is so bad. I have to get the hell out of here. So literally, I'd even let the movie finish. At least thirty minutes left of this movie. I think around the hour fifteen mark, I said ah, I'm done. Not the, the story sucks. 
the, 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 the part where I was like, like, what? Is where Medea opens up her blouse and she's like trying to show these guys her chest. And I was like, oh, that's disgusting. Guys, that's my review on Boo, on Medea's Halloween. A complete and utter skip. You want to see some funny movies I could recommend for you guys? Um, I love the movie super bad. If you want to see a classic movie, um, there's a Gene Wilder movie called Blazing Saddle. Don't watch it with the kids. I didn't like Trolls. Trolls I could watch, but I don't want to. Medea's Halloween... I, I will never see that movie again. Okay, anyway, I'm Ray from Writer's Creation. Thank you very much for watching this review. It might be a little bit too long, but uh, hey, sometimes that happens. All right, thank you guys. Mm -hmm.